you know, when it comes to, you know, you're mentioning like we should be speaking at universities. You know, Joe, the first thing they ever say is like, oh, oh Jimmy, he's a, he was a fraud investigator. He's from the corporate world. Like Ben, uh, <laughs> Ben has an awesome story, too, by the way, coming out of the corporate world. You got, uh, we could get into that. Yeah, so we'll you got going. patents with, okay, all right, tech guy. Um, we'll get into that. Um, but like, so that's the immediately dismiss. And I want to make an interesting point, which is that. It's so, so crazy that they're gatekeepers. Yeah, they the, well, the, the egocentric, ego minded gatekeepers. Like, they don't want anyone to discover something they haven't noticed. That's 100%. Right. It, it is, it is totally what they do. It's almost unbelievable coming as like an outsider to this. I couldn't be more surprised to see the reactions to anything alternative because it's like, wait a second, the success of uh, the things that we present, the success of Graham Hancock's Ancient Apocalypse show, this, any true enthusiast of the ancient of ancient history or geology, this is a win-win for everybody because it's gaining interest in these unanswered questions and yeah. everybody would stand to gain from it. Like archaeologists, like if well, it was up to me, they'd be out there digging right now because yeah, of this but stuff. The problem is they have already made these assertions. They've already published papers. They've already written books. That's, and mm -hmm. those books would now be disproven and they would look foolish and they do not want to look foolish. It, no. it, it's, they're, it's, they're throwing everything at, this, at, at ancient apocalypse. They really are. Every word everything. in the book. I don't yeah, want to racism. utter it. Yeah. So oh, what, white, racism supremacy. And white supremacy. Because How most... is it white supremacy to say that people who lived 12,000 years ago, we have zero idea what color they were. We have zero idea what they looked like. We, we, yeah. we're, we're literally talking about human beings, fellow human beings right. that created some unbelievably magnificent structures that exist today. Yeah. To call that... Or to somehow or another connect that to racism. Like, how? It's, yeah, it's and, and, ad hominem. The only reason why you would do this, it's one of two things. I've listened to their arguments, and it's either one of two. I'm just going to say it. I'll be bold. They're either really stupid to associate that with racism, or they're doing exactly what I see going for anyone that says something counter to a narrative, which is, we need to cancel this person. Shut them up. Yes. And, and I had a friend reach out to me when this show came out. And they Googled, I don't even want to say this, but it has to be said. They Googled Graham Hancock, and there's articles at the top linking him to white supremacy. I'm like, this is, in my mind, that's why they do it. Because they want to just shout some doubt so on dumb. you. Well, it's trying it's, to generate outrage without addressing the things that he says. And, right. And re addressing his specific arguments. It's so dumb. married to an Indian woman. It's well, dumb. Yes, Everything that, about thing. it he's is a, fucking dumb. And he's yeah. one of the... I know, he's I have, the nicest guy in the world. I know Graham pretty well, too. He's Yeah, he is. He's one he of is, the most considerate people you ever meet. He's so nice, and he's he just is. so inquisitive, and he's been so courageous his entire career and the more time goes on the more he's validated it's the true more really his, yes i mean you go back to fingerprints of the gods i read about that in the 90s i read yeah. that book in the 90s and, and that's when i got really into his stuff and yeah. back then if you brought it up people would go oh he's a kook this is not but as the internet came about and as more and more information became available and then the discovery of Gobekli Tepe yeah. just threw the whole thing on its head yeah. he has Ca i would argue he's done more to sorry ben right. real quick he Anything more, he's done more for the it, it, bringing the topic of the mysteries of lost ancient civilizations, cataclysms, than arguably anyone else on earth. Because yeah. of him, I saw him on your show. I go down the rabbit hole, start looking, I start talking about these things. So it's like everyone should be th saying thank you to Graham Hancock. They're, Sorry, Ben. They're just so scared that he's going to make them look like fools yeah. because yeah. they wrote these books when they had limited access to information and they made these very, like, like, direct assertions they, like right. this is it's, what happened and they're wrong it's the, right. it's a position of power it's yeah. it's archaeology not being a hard science that does you know exp uh, hypothesis experiment result like you can do in things like chemistry for example those these guys they they rise to their positions of powers in, in in academia they become their their whole personal i think sense of self is yes. somehow tied up around this uh position as an expert in this story and it's that's all it is ultimately we're looking at we're trying to interpret the very scant evidence that is history. We're looking through the bones of many civilizations. People have destroyed things, rebuilt them, destroyed them, rebuilt them. You're trying to put that together and evaluate this evidence. And yeah, they, they write the textbooks and they've, they kind of have that position of power. And when new evidence comes along that I think threatens that, that's why you, you get in some ways such a strong reaction because you're almost threatening the person. Yeah. I think they take it that way, and it's, well, most certainly, it's unfortunate. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you've seen the uh, the original uh, discussion that 
Graham had with uh, Dr. Robert Schock when they brought the evidence of the water erosion to the Sphinx. Sphinx. Mm -hmm. And then that archaeologist was like laughing, but yep. like not really laughing. Was, oh, what evidence do we have <laughs> of an ancient civilization 11,000 years ago? Well, now we have a lot, fuck face. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. a lot. You know, yeah. there's, there's, uh, Gobekli Tepe is massive. And then there's another structure that's close to Gobekli Tepe. Karahan Tepe. Yeah. In fact, they're discovering many of them now. That's, 